All right, so it's time to do a little bit of work to the Jeep Liberty. This is the 03 Liberty that I got from Copart for $700 bid. Uh, total with fees and everything came out to 1,030 bucks. This is the Jeep that had no front end. We zip tied the front end back onto it, drove it home, and then the following day, drove it up a mountain, uh, 240 miles, and uh, drove it home, no problems at all. Thing runs and drives absolutely great. This thing's a trooper. Not only did we take it up a mountain, we uh, did a little off-roading, a little four by four action, a little bit of mud action, um, got a little mud on the tires, had a little fun with her. I do things like this to make sure whoever's gonna get this is gonna get a truck that's gonna be a good vehicle for them. Um, I'm not out there tearing it up and abusing it, but I do wanna have a little fun with it. Number one, it's enjoyable. Um, and number two, if it can handle that, then it should be all right for the next person. Let's take a look around this thing. All right, so starting off, it's pretty apparent that we gotta put this, uh, this fender flare back on. Um, we got some clips missing, so I'm gonna have to find, uh, I'm gonna have to source those. I'm hoping I can find a junkyard that's got them and I can take them out carefully. Um, otherwise, we're just gonna have to find them and replace them. We're gonna need the clips for the inner fender right here. We're gonna need the clips for the fender flare that go up here. Um, let's take a look at the inside. We're about to clean it up. We're gonna start on that on video with you guys. Get all these doors open. All right, so I spilled a drink in here yesterday. So this side got a, a quick vacuum, uh, nothing too crazy. But here's what she looks like. Needs a light cleaning. Nothing, nothing too major on this one. Just a very light cleaning, probably a decent little, uh, I wouldn't say armor all, but Meguiar's is what I use. And I think it'll shine up nicely. Uh, clean inside the doors here, these are nasty get the door jams cleaned up. We'll hit these with uh, some stuff called Back to Black. Works really well, makes this look really good. Um, the rims, I'd like to thank, I can't find the comment, but somebody sent me a link to something called Wheel Skins. And Wheel Skins are basically hubcaps for rims that you normally couldn't put hubcaps on, but they were 50 bucks and I got chrome ones. So we're not gonna spend all the time sanding and priming and all that other crap. We're just going to put the wheel skins over and this thing's gonna have some chrome wheel skins for 50 bucks, gonna look nice. Back here, obviously some vacuuming. The whole thing is dusty, as you can see. We got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of cleaning to do, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Gonna try to clean this uh, vinyl cover up. It's pretty dirty. Curious to see what the tire looks like underneath. Can't see it all that well. It's not a new tire, but it looks like it's a good tire on a full-size rim. Um, all the tires look pretty decent. Like I said, we're gonna hit all this, all the gray stuff. We're gonna hit it with back to black, trying to make it look real good. We're gonna get all the dust. You can see right here, just dust everywhere. Vacuum the carpets. Dashboard's dusty too. We're just gonna give the thing a really good cleaning. Take a look at the engine real quick. All right, so here's the engine bay. It's pretty dusty too. You guys will probably be amazed when I'm done. Now, a lot of people do ask me, how do you clean your engine bays? Uh, honestly, as long as it doesn't have a distributor cap, which almost nothing would in, in, by 03, um, I simply take it to the car wash, hit it with some uh, like Royal Purple Heavy Degreaser and uh, spray it off real good and that's usually all it takes. Um, she's not leaking anything, it's just dirty, you know. Most people don't clean their engine bays, a lot of people are scared to, but uh, very clean underneath and on top. You know, I wanted to make sure I did this video before I cleaned it up because a lot of people will clean the engine bays to hide things like like major leaks or smoke or things of that nature. Just want to make sure to show that we don't have any, we don't have, any, have anything dripping or pouring or leaking. In fact, we'll even climb underneath real quick. I can keep from getting stickers on me. Let's see if we can clean this up just a little bit. There we go. Pan from one side. Pan to the other side. 
we don't have anything pouring out from under here nothing like that simply want to make her look a little bit better for the new owner that's all um, so aside from cleaning we got to find all those clips we got to pull this front end off and figure out what holds it together and uh, because honestly I don't know and we got to find those pieces probably have to source those from a junkyard as well I guess let's get started That's gonna be it for this video. There's gonna be more, believe me, we got more work to do. I got more cleaning to do on the Jeep. Um, after we took off the front end, I was able to figure out kind of what happened. It looks like somebody hit something ever so slightly, but the header panel is extremely brittle. I mean, it's, it's, it's very brittle. I don't know if that's from age. I don't know if that's a design defect. I just don't know. But whatever, <laughs> whatever they hit or Alternatively, perhaps they tried to pull something using that front plastic bumper. I, I don't know. But they ripped every single mounting point off. Every one of them. Every mounting point on the header panel and the bumper has been broken. Um, so what I did is, after realizing there's no fixing this, I thought about, you know, I'm going to go to LKQ. Um, we're going to go to the junkyard and pull some parts together. But a header panel out there is probably going to run me $35, $40. I was able to go on Amazon.com. Um, I found a header panel for 55 bucks. It'll be here in a few days. Um, I also found all the necessary clips for the uh, that side flare for the pass uh, driver's side wheel. Um, I needed the clips to put those back on, the clips for the inner fender, the uh, clips for the header panel. Basically, I was able to find everything on Amazon for, I think it came out to like 80 bucks. So as soon as all those parts come in, you know, we'll come back, we'll 
pull the header panel off from the bumper and reattach the new header panel, put the headlights in the new header panel. Um, we'll clean up the headlights. I want to uh, do a restore on those. We'll do that ourselves. Um, as you can see from today, you know, I got those wheel skins for like $50, $55 or something. It was able to take those ugly rims without doing anything really to them and just popping them on. So now the thing looks really good with the chrome wheels or the chrome wheel skins, I should say. Uh, I think once we get these parts for the front end on, we'll be able to bolt this thing back together properly. I'm not going to half-ass any of these cars. We're going to put it back together properly. Uh, I did the interior detail. Aside from the seats, I still need to clean the seats. A lot of work got done. It's looking a lot better. Um, one thing to mention, I finally did get around to checking the fluids. The oil looks great. Uh, it's fairly clean and it's not low. The coolant looks great as well. It's not low either. Transmission fluid, I was pleasantly surprised to check the transmission fluid on this Jeep with 200,000 miles and find that it's bright pink. Um, so somebody has definitely kept up maintenance on this or replaced the transmission very recently. I don't know. But either way, this thing runs and drives great. You know, we took it uh, on a 240 mile road trip, we went up a mountain, um, came back with the whole thing zip tied together and it held up just fine. For now, I've got the front end zip tied back together so I can use it as a daily uh, in case I need to for hauling anything or moving some things around or in case the Chevy Sonic gets rented out. So we will come back. Stay tuned for the next one. As always, I appreciate you. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe. Stay safe out there. Catch you in the next one.